some interesting rock formations on the way. This is uh, turned more into a rock hopping run than anything else. found it again. It's just so similar around, everything looks the same as you can see. I mean this is the path, but then there's a stream here. And all the paths are streams at the moment, so you can't tell the difference between a stream and a path. So you're running down what you think is a path, and suddenly realise that you're just running down a stream. <laughs> and the path has disappeared. And that's the danger, that's why you need your maps. But that's also part of the fun, because challenge. It's not just about a physical challenge, it's about using your brain and you're relying on nobody but yourself. This is one of the moments that I live for when I do this trail running. We're basically just coming out of the clouds now. And if you look, oh there's a hair. Is that a mountain there? Did you see it? Hopefully I caught that on the video and you saw it. They're extremely rare. Very, very lucky to see one of those. So I hope you could see it on the video. But yes, that's not actually what I was talking about. This is the moment I'm talking about where we're coming out of the clouds and you can see in the distance where we're heading. I don't know if you can see, there's a valley there. We're going to be heading over and down that valley. The views will be spectacular. And I'll show you. That's what it's all about. Finally getting out of that more London fells and bouldering, which is fun in itself. But we're going to get to see the views now. We're just uh, working our way down the valley now. There's not much to see at the moment because we're still right at the top, but we'll get some spectacular views on the way down, which I'll share with you. But the amount of grouse that we're scaring at the moment is hilarious. They're everywhere. I have to concentrate because we're kind of running along a ledge at the moment, as you can see, and it's going to get higher and higher the more the valley drops next to us. So we'll keep uh, an eye on our feet and uh, be careful. But yeah, I hope we caught that hair. Did you notice if it, I hope it filmed, I can't check till I get home, but if it did capture it, did you notice it was white? It's still in its winter fur coat because they change colour to camouflage themselves over the year. So in the winter they get this beautiful white coat. Um, and they're just so fast to run as well. It's, it is really extremely rare to see them. So we were really lucky for that to happen. Here we go. I just want to show you quickly. So we've run down whoop, here. We're going to follow this valley uh, basically along this edge. We'll keep on going until we get to the top of the valley and in the distance there that's where we're heading to the bottom of that valley that's the Longendale Valley and uh, yeah it's a good run right a bit more of uh, this rock hopping and bouldering just wanted to say thanks to my dad he bought me this amazing piece of kit so basically it's a charger for my phone that I'm filming with right now and the battery's on three percent and I need my map so yeah Thanks to my dad, I have a power pack that will keep it charged so I can keep talking to you and keep running and not get lost. So, cool present, cheers. Top of Tour Side Clough, and uh, it's starting to feel a bit more like we're reaching towards civilization. We're out of the clouds, and as you can see, the views are improving there quite nicely. So, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this trail, and it takes you along the top of here. 
There we go. We're going to go along there towards the bottom. We'll be working our way down this valley along the edge of the tour side cliff. And uh, then we can head back home on the Longdendale Trail. Hey, just had to share the views with you. Well, the good news is, on this side of the, uh, the mountain, we're out of the wind, so it's turned into a really pleasant run on this side. Uh, as we work our way along this valley, I'm just going to make sure you don't lose your step. It's worth it though, look at those views right next to us. So yeah, we've just run along the edge of here working our way down. The one the guy called Torside Clough, uh, sorry it's called Torside Clough, the guy on the internet called it Torside Terror. Obviously I had a fear of heights but uh, luckily I don't have a fear of heights so not a problem. See, we're back down at the reservoirs, about the bottom of the valley, and we're heading home. Um, we've been running exactly two and a half hours so far. I think we've got about four miles left to go. So, it's been a good run. It's been a good distance. We did some fantastic elevation and reached the summit of a mountain. It's not bad going, is it? On a morning. So yes, we'll get this last little push done, finish off these, I think it's about four miles, and we're home and dry, just in time for lunch, or an early lunch anyway, I think we deserve it. So yeah, I'll talk to you one last time at the end, and uh, let's keep going. <sighs> right, we're almost back at my house. We've been running for just over three hours. So I just want to say congratulations. We did really well. What did we do? We did push-ups at the top of a mountain. <laughs> uh, we ate some snow. We saw a mountain hair in its winter coat, which is extremely rare. So, not a bad run, eh? Thanks for joining me. I'll put some photographs at the end. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.